Welcome. In this video, we'll present the demo of Beam Mobility Management Exa by Remed Labs. We are considering a single massive MIMO server grid of beams approaches applied with 8 orthogonal beams. The massive MIMO base station is equipped with 4x4 rectangular antenna array. There are 8 pedestrians within the cell moving with the speed of 1.5 m per second and two high-speed UVs moving with the speed of 25 meters per second. In the right plot, there are beam mobility statistics presented. First bar presents the number of beam reselections. Second bar informs about the number of times when not the best beam is selected. Third bar presents the number of beam failures, when received power falls below minus 100 dBms. The bottom plot represents the received power level for high-speed UEs over time. The solid line corresponds to the first UV and the dashed line to the second UV. The line colors represent user-to-beam association. We use LTE handover as a state-of-the-art algorithm. When received power from other beam is stronger than alpha and persists over time to trigger, the handover occurs. Besides LTE handover, there are two algorithms from our Beam Mobility Management X app. First, aimed at minimization of beam reselections while maintaining quality of service requirements. Second, aimed at SNR maximization. Let's now take a look at their performance. At first, LTE handover is being evaluated, with alpha equal to 3 decibels and time to trigger equal to 300 milliseconds. Now we are running the Beam Mobility Management XAP, aimed at handover minimization. The XAP optimizes handovers on the basis of the radio environment map. In the case of LTE handover, we had 26 beam reselections, 27 quality of service drops and 1 beam failure. Utilization of the Beam Mobility Management XAP can reduce number of beam reselections to only 15, with only 4 quality of service drops and no beam failures. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.